Good evening all you beautiful viewers out there and welcome to House and Home. So glad you could join us tonight as we have more informative and educational insights all set for you. Well, let's start off with Brian Bill showcasing the Kitchen Nova appliances. Here's Jane. Hi, Teresa. Hi, viewers. I'm Jane Takilala and welcome to Brian Bell. Hi, Jane. So what do you have in store for us tonight? Well, Teresa, tonight I will feature some of the must-have small kitchen appliances from the Yova brand. Yova focuses on catering the world through its various small appliances. Yova is of quality standard, competitive and reasonably priced. It covers a full range of small domestic appliances, which is of international standards. Yova focuses on catering the world through its various small appliances. Yova is of quality standard, competitive and reasonably priced. It covers a full range of small domestic appliances, which is of international standard. Kettles, as you know, are a must-have kitchen appliance. We need kettles for basically everything, like warming our baby's meal for breakfast, tea, dinner, and to entertain our guests. We have available Yova electric jugs in 1.7 and 2 liters to meet any lifestyle. These jugs are available in cordless or corded. The main difference between the two is that the cordless jug is detachable from its plate, which makes it convenient for user to lift, whereas the corded jug is attached to its cord. The main difference between a corded and a cordless is that the cordless jug is detachable from its plate which makes it convenient for user to lift whereas the corded is attached to the cord. The main features of an electric jug includes visible water level, on off switch, overheat protection, 360 rotation is an advantage because the electric jug can be turned on at any sitting position or angle. Safety locking lead and automatic cutoff. We have a wide range of electric jugs to choose from, so make sure you pick up your preferred jug today. Another product from Yova would include this electric chopper, which is mainly used for cutting, mixing, whipping and pouring. This product would come in handy for preparing a baby's meal or any other meal preparations. It features a high-grade blade for cutting purposes, fixed power cord and powerful motor. You could even use this to chop up onions without even shedding any tears. Finally, our other product from Yoba would include this electric frying pan or the cook and serve pan. This product has an additional advantage over the stove top frying pan because of its detachable power cord or unit which incorporates a thermostatic control for maintaining the desired temperature. This product can be found in many households which is pretty popular. It features non-stick coating for smokeless cooking, bake light handle, full glass lid, and has a diameter of 30 centimeters and a thick hot plate of 2 millimeters. This product is perfect for roasting, stir fry, steaming, cooking a whole fish, and many other dishes can be prepared using this electric fryer. So if you're someone like me who enjoys fish being cooked whole, then why not grab yourself a Yova electric frying pan today? Apart from featured products, we have items that will complement your Yova electrical appliances. We have available power boards of different sizes and power surges to protect your electrical appliances. The hot specials for this week will include Integrity 20 litre manual touch microwave oven and West Point 100 litre fridge.
Make sure you benefit from this great offer which is running for this week only. Also be advised that our furniture sale is still running till the end of March. We have special to selected furniture products covering a wide range of bedroom, kitchen and dining furniture. Finally, to our valid customers, if you're a walk-in customer who urgently needs a quotation and everyone seems busy, then grab a biro and scrap paper which can be found on any counter. Walk around the showroom and record the pronto codes, which is a six-digit figure, and quantity of your desired items, together with your contact details and present to the customer service desk for your quotation. This will definitely save you time. Now you know you can turn to us simply because you're backed up by Brand Belt's warranty, service and spare parts. So remember, great products, great prices, that's Brand Belt. Until next time, happy shopping. Good night. That was Brian Bell making known the Nova brand. Thank you, Jane, for that. So viewers, now that you've seen and have known the brand and also the kitchen appliances, do make time available for yourself and go check the best of Brian Bell's Nova products. Let's go for a first break and we'll see you soon. It's all about the better man for your life with house and home. your life with house and home yeah it's all about the better plan for your life with house oh, 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 oh. with the aim of providing accessible development and engaging citizens in generating income to better and improve the lifestyle of people, the National Development Bank is up next to share with us on successful commercial loans. House Money Talkout is proudly brought to you by the National Development Bank. House Money belong you me. Good evening and welcome to NDB House Money Talkout. I'm Bernadette Andrews and thank you for joining me. On tonight's show, we take you to Colpus Garoka, where we feature one of NDB's successful commercial loans client. She is the owner of Garoka Steakhouse, Mrs. Rita Kare. This is a story. Let's take a look. Rita Kare hails from the Simbu province and is married to a local, Peter Kare. Both share two children and have been living in Goroka town for most of their lives. Rita, a former public servant, worked with the Eastern Highlands Provincial Administration before venturing into mobile catering and the steakhouse restaurant. When I was with the Provincial Administration, I, I, got, uh, I could see a need in there. Uh, that uh, office and uh, People where they are having meetings, they need someone to provide uh, morning tea, afternoon tea or lunch. So I thought I should uh, leave job now and uh, resign from the uh, public servant and come and do this uh, restaurant and do the mobile catering. The Steakhouse is a growing business that has 27 staff and offers one of the finest dining experiences serving Western and local dishes. Okay, we started using what we call a la carte menu. We don't cook and preserve. We cook fresh food all the time. Apart from the steak, we got varieties of dishes that's also on our menu that can serve uh, customers according to their, whatever they want to have for their meal. Rita says one of the challenges 
she faces in carrying out her daily operations is getting the stock. Okay, locally we normally go to the market. We have a lot of uh, fresh vegetables at the market. Stock is one of the challenges that you can't get uh, all the required things here in Goroka. I always make a trip to Lay to pick up my stock. Rita and her husband have a long-standing relationship with the National Development Bank, having sought funding from the bank for their other business ventures. We're introduced to the National Development Bank by Mr. Kare's uh, uh, big brother, who's late, a younger Kare who used to work for uh, Islands Region National Development Bank. In 2011, the couple obtained a large commercial loan from the bank to purchase the steakhouse property and for the construction of their new motel, but disaster struck when the main restaurant building got burnt down. The National Development Bank uh, really understands us, the, the simple people of this nation, I think. Uh, without NDP, I don't think me and uh, Mr. Kara will go into getting such a loan. There was a challenge that we faced when we had our building got bent down. But coming out of the fire, we can do something uh, with, still with NDP, and that NDP understood us. NDP never said no. They gave us again to get the furnitures where we are sitting on and uh, put a makeshift ki kitchen. Rita's challenge to men is that women are very good managers if given the opportunity and as partners they must be supportive of them. Uh, the time by you looking more small, Mary or strong plan Mary. Suppose all got him good plan, tintin, strong plan, tintin, or walk him something, something. Challenge for me, Mosem. All man must give him opportunity, or Mary too. You know, can think you that's all you buy. Go pass over that time. Find a game opportunity, all Mary. They are very good managers. They they will do good things for you. A great success story of an ambitious woman. NDB has transformed Rita's business, as you have seen, and we can transform your business too. For more information, call us on 324-7500, email us at ndbank at devbank.com.pg or find us on Facebook, National Development Bank. This brings us to the end of NDB House Money Talkout. But before we go, remember, when you're thinking of starting or growing your business, think NDB. House Money belong you me. Good night. House Money Talkout was proudly brought to you by the National Development Bank. House Money belong you me. And that was the National Development Bank giving a helping hand with the great ideas. Stay tuned as we'll be back shortly. Welcome back. During the course of the revamp, we have been showing Papua New Guinea's wonderful sites and of course the native animals and their lifestyles. Here's more on Animal Plus. and welcome once again to an exciting adventure on Animal Plus. Getting to know the different types of animal species requires a lot of dedication, commitment, careful researching, and of course, the facts. Well, I am here once again at the beautiful Popo Nature Park to present to you Papua New Guinea's most amazing and attractive Regiana Bird of Paradise. Get ready to explore with me.
The Regiana bird of paradise is one of Papua New Guinea's unique and remarkably attractive bird that lives primarily in the southern and northeastern New Guinea. In New Guinea, it is referred to as Komo and is the national bird of this country. Images of this bird are often found on money, stamps, and it is also a representative of the country's national rugby team. It got its name in the 16th century when it was brought to Europe on the Victoria ship by Magellan. It was believed that this was the majestic bird that represented the beauty of the land that they were going to explore as well. The Regianas are typically around 34 centimeters in length with some variation. These birds also tend to weigh between 7 to 12 ounces or about three quarters of a pound or less. These birds are known to be the most dramatic and attractive birds in the world. The brightly colored plumage of the male birds of paradise contains colors ranging from red to yellow to green and along with the unique dance moves, the male birds of paradise really stand out on the forest floor. Indeed, in 1971, this species was made the national emblem and was included on the national flag. Males are very colorful with wide variation in the colors of feathers, breasts, skin and tail feathers. Males also tend to have green area around the chin with yellow coloring the head and the neck. Females in contrast have less vibrant plumage and tail feathers. They tend to be mostly brown in color which helps them avoid predators. Nurturing and raising of the young is the responsibility of the mother. These birds tend to be solitary birds and only come together to mate. The male bird of paradise attracts a female bird of paradise using his bright feathers and perfected dance routine. The female bird of paradise lays her eggs in a nest. Unlike many other species of bird, the birds of paradise can nest on ground level in the trees or in dense foliage. This bird typically eats fruits and berries, although they are also known to eat small animals such as frogs and lizards as well as leaves. They usually don't migrate throughout the year, rather they find their home and stay in that same area. These birds are very special in Papua New Guinea and they deserve to be free and to live without ever being disturbed or harmed. The beautiful bright colors of the birds of paradise have made these birds a highly prized target for hunters and tribesmen alike who use the brightly colored feathers of the birds of paradise to create clothes and costumes. This practice and tradition has meant for enormous population declines for the birds of paradise with some species being worse off than others. Although they have few natural predators these days, they are facing rapid deforestation in many areas of New Guinea. This destruction of their habitat has left many of these birds of paradise with no place to nest or live. However, they are not an endangered species. In fact, there are so many of them and are considered to be least concern of endangerment and does not qualify for a more at risk category. These birds have been hunted in the past for traditional costumes and other purposes. Well, I'm here once again with Mr. Bebe. Mr. Bebe, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Can Tisha. you tell us a bit about the current level of the population and the conservation of this wonderful species of Regiana bird of paradise? Okay, Tricia, the, this uh, species here, the Regiana bird of paradise, is one of the commonly distributed or widely distributed species on, in Papua New Guinea, and therefore they are contained within the uh, uh, conservation areas. Uh, therefore, we have 38 species of bird of paradise in Papua New Guinea, and there's a total of uh, 42 species. The other five species is found uh, in West Papua, which overlaps to West Papua, and 38 alone is found in Papua New Guinea, in which one of them is this beautiful Regiana bird of paradise. Although these birds have been hunted in the past for traditional costumes and other purposes, I believe people have stopped hunting and have learned how to take pride in this wonderful species, which is good news. 
So, Mr. Bebe, I believe people have stopped hunting and have learned how to take pride in this wonderful species. Oh, yes, Trisha. Uh, currently, because this on the island of Papua New Guinea or New Guinea, including West Papua, there's uh, the 42. Uh, alone in Papua New Guinea, we have 38 species, as uh, I have said earlier. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we are thinking of bringing other species also, other 38 species. Uh, so that there, there will be the ambassador species representing those that are in the wild. Uh, basically for education papers and uh, for students to see uh, how fascinating these birds are. So Mr. Bebe, I believe it will be more educational for school students coming in here at the park for school excursions. Are you planning to bring other animal species totally apart from the Regina Bird of Paradise into captive? Um, education is one of the powerful tools that uh, Port Mosby Nature Park is using at the moment to channel message on how best to conserve these uh, animals. Uh, therefore, we, we have an uh, education department where we have qualified teachers and we are uh, uh, taking on board a curriculum that is taught in uh, the government schools. Uh, basically, in particular, science subjects that are taught. We, we are doing all, it on an outdoor excursion so that uh, the students get to see the real uh, the species of birds, uh, the flora and fauna that we have in Papua New Guinea. And also in line with that, we are thinking of bringing other additional uh, species that is native to Papua New Guinea, no exo uh, exotics like uh, introduced ones, uh, but native. Uh, that is found on the island of Papua New Guinea. Thank you, Mr. Bebe, for your time. Thank you too, Trisha. It is very important that we teach the younger generation of Papua New Guinea's very own native breed so that they can know and learn how to take care of them and most importantly, take pride in them. Thank you so much for your company and please do keep an eye on Animal Plus with House and Home. And with that, I'm Theresa Miria. Goodbye. <laughs>
is actually coming off so you Okay viewers, once you've taken the meat off the bone, the next thing you have to do is wash these. So you have to wash these and then you put it in a, a bowl of water. Make sure to put some salt on so it actually gets rid of all the, all the excess fat that's on the, um, left on the chicken once you've taken the, the meat off the bone. So what I've done already earlier is to slice the meat in half and as you can see I've got two pieces right here. What I'm about to do now is to start beating my chicken pieces. So while you're beating your chicken, just make sure it's all even on all sides. So you don't wanna have lumpy bits and then you can have, have skinny bits on the other side. Make sure it's all evened out properly. Yeah, so depending on how many schnitzels you wanna make, um, for now I'm just gonna make about two. All right, viewers, now that I've beaten my two chicken pieces, the next thing I'm gonna do is start organizing my other ingredients. So first up, we're gonna crack the eggs. So I've got four eggs. So depending on how many chicken pieces you have, um, you can actually have, you know, if you're gonna have one egg, I think one egg is pretty much equivalent to two pieces of chicken. So we'll just see that and try. So what I'm gonna do now is to whisk it. Now when you're whisking the egg, you just wanna make sure it's all smooth and even. Okay, so once we've finished whisking the egg, making sure that it's all smooth and settled, the next step is to add salt and some pepper into our flour. So we have some salt. Now I'm adding the salt just to make sure that uh, depending on the flavor, so we have a good flavor, so you can taste the salt as well. So we add some pepper. So you just wanted to make it a bit more consistent, the salt and pepper, to have that texture and taste. So once you've added your salt and pepper, now you can start to mix the flour and have the flavor mixed. Now that you've mixed your salt and pepper with the flour, the next thing you're gonna do is pick up your chicken piece and start putting it over the flour. So you just wanna make sure the whole chicken piece is covered with the flour. So as you can see, the salt and pepper is all mixed with the flour and it gives it that flavor. When that's done, you can then dip your chicken piece into the egg. Now you can use a fork or a spoon, you can use your fingers, but for tonight I'm just gonna use the fork. Just make sure the flour is all soaked in with the egg. Once that's done, you just wanna let the egg drip off. And then you can just put it into the crumb, the breadcrumbs. So same thing with the flour. You just wanna make sure the chicken is all covered in, your, in the, uh, the breadcrumbs. So I'll just leave this in here and then I'll start with the second piece of the chicken. So same thing, you just wanna make sure it's all covered. Once it's all covered, then you can put it into the egg. And then again, just make sure it's all soaked in with the egg. Once the chicken is all soaked in with the egg, next thing you wanna do is just hold it and then let, it, let the egg drip off. Once that's done, 
can then put it into your breadcrumbs. And then same thing, put some breadcrumb on it, making sure it's all covered. Now when you do this, you don't have to leave the chicken pieces on the breadcrumbs. Once you put the breadcrumbs on, you can always put it on the side. All right, viewers, now earlier I've poured some oil into my pot here. And so it's all heated up and ready for me to put in the chicken schnitzel. So now we're gonna put our chicken schnitzel in into the hot oil. Now these are quite big pieces, just enough for a plate. So you can always cut them if you wanna have small pieces. If you're gonna share this with the little kids at home, you can always cut these chicken pieces in half. So just make sure you keep an eye on the chicken pieces. It doesn't get burnt. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, viewers, is to actually take, my, take the chicken schnitzel out. So it's all nice and golden brown. So that's the color we want. So I'm just gonna place this on top here. Well, as you can see, I've got these tissues to absorb the oil of the chicken. All right, so I'll put this to the side and start with the salad. So I've got a bowl of fruit and veggies and that's to make a salad to go with our chicken schnitzel tonight. So we've got an avocado, a carrot that I've peeled earlier, so that will go on the chopping board. We've got some orange and yellow capsicum. We've got a red onion and some lettuce. So we're gonna start by chopping the carrot. You can slice it anyhow you want, but tonight I'm just gonna cut it straight. Just make sure it's in half. And then you can half it again. So once you have your carrot pieces, now you can start plating this into the plate to go with your chicken schnitzel. So I'm just gonna place some chicken pieces, chicken schnitzel in. All right, so once you've got the chicken pieces placed in the plate, then you can have maybe three or two pieces of your carrot, and then I will move on to actually chopping the capsicum. So when you're cutting the capsicum, if you just start on the side, and as you can see, you don't catch the seed, so the seed's actually kept inside. So you just go from the side, and then you can just start cutting the, how you wanna cut it. Make sure every piece is consistent. So I'll plate this in. So I'm using two different colors of capsicum just to give it the color. All right, so now we're gonna start with the lettuce. You can actually peel it off if you feel like peeling it off. But for tonight, I'm just gonna cut it in half first and then just start peeling it off from the side. So once you've cut your lettuce, then you can start plating it. All right, now avocado. So we're gonna just cut this in half. Then we start chopping our red onion. So you just wanna cut it nice and thin, thin slices. All right, viewers, and now you have your beautiful chicken schnitzel with salad. 
All right, viewers, to know more about this recipe, you can go to our House in Home Facebook page to find out more information. It's back to you, Theresa. Thank you, Godwin. I never thought you could prepare something so delicious as that. So viewers, chicken schnitzel with salad. New idea for you to try out. Let's take a break and we shall catch up with Mila on the other side. Talk about the better man for your life with house and home. Yeah, it's all about the better man for your life with house and home. We care about improving lifestyles. It's all about the better man for your life. Taking good care of yourself and eating the right kind of food keeps you fit and healthy. So grab yourself a pen and a notebook and get ready to write down the steps Mila has to share and make sure to join in wherever you are and do some exercises to keep fit. Here's Healthy Living with Mila. Hello viewers, I'm Mark Gwena Jr. and welcome to this episode of Healthy Living with Mila. Now you get to see Mila and Kamuna do more of the stretching here at the Botanical Garden Nature Park. Enjoy. Hi, our viewers. We are back to tell you what stretching is all about, especially the importance with it. Kamuna and I is going to give you some examples on how you can follow us to do stretching. The first thing, there are three type of stretching that we have to learn. The first one is ballistic stretching. The second one is dynamic stretching. And the third one is static stretching. I am going to show you, to ask Kamuna how to do a ballistic stretching. I'm going to explain it while Kamuna is doing the movement. Kamuna, can you show to our televiewers by facing me slightly here, extend your right leg on the side, out on the side. Yes, and then bend your left leg on this side, bend. Yep, and both arms on this side. Okay, now Kamuna, 